Alrighty. We got some Donruss football. I haven't done Donruss football hangers in quite a while. Uh, we did some Megas a few days ago, but got some hanger boxes tonight. Let you guys take a look at all the possibilities there before we get going. I will be, uh, I'll try to flip through the base fairly quickly. I am going to show all the cards. Uh, just try to flip through those fairly quickly because they are kind of monotonous and repetitive. Even the variations are very common, so, or, yeah, the image variations are uh, almost as common as the regular base cards themselves, so. Anyways. We will go ahead and get after it. We got 10 of these to bust through. Probably 35, 40 minutes for this break. Even even going through the base cards that quickly, I'd imagine it'll still take that long. So best of luck to you guys. I always think that the pack should be in there, but that's just the way they do it, I guess. The prestige hangers have like 60 cards in there. Looks like I might spend half the break just opening packs here. There we go. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and get after it. Like I said, I'm just going to flip through all the base cards. It'll take me a little extra time to say all the names as we go, but I guess they traded old Von Miller today to the Rams. The Rams got a, a decent defensive player at like every key position on as far as like Aaron Donald. And you got Von Miller at linebacker now and Jalen Ramsey. Of course, Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey are considered 99 overalls in Madden, so I think they got a decent defense. Let Stafford sling the ball around a little bit. They might have a good shot to win the Super Bowl. I guess you'd consider this a photo variation for Lamar Jackson. Get the mask on. Wouldn't surprise me if we pull a couple of those this break. Like I said, they're not uh, too uncommon. Honestly, don't think they're any different than pulling a regular car. There's a Brady with no helmet on. Drew Brees without a helmet. Jalen Hurts. All right, here we go with some rookies. We got a Simi Fehoko, ready to rookie for the Cowboys. Uh, Christian Barmore for the Patriots. Luke Farrell for the Jaguars. And Rashad Bateman for the Ravens. Should have a few red press proofs in every hanger. Got Jerry Judy, Dan Marino, and Aaron Jones for the veteran slash retired guys. Hopefully get a ready rookie here. Yeah, we do. Oh, Devontae Smith. Not too bad. It's not a bad one at all there for the Eagles. Got a Justin Fields portrait behind it. Back to back, decent cards. This card looks like it's uh It's like kind of a faded photo. I thought it might have been like a numbered card or something, but the photo doesn't pop on it very well. It's almost like they made it with one less color or something. A Dominator's Aaron Donald. Got an Action All Pros Mahomes. Uh, Jalen Darden, the rookies insert for the Buccaneers. Got Elite Series Christian McCaffrey. Uh, Power Formulas, Christian McCaffrey. Uh, Rashad Bateman. Elite Series rookies insert. Got a Rhodes of the Super Bowl, Baker Mayfield. The champ is here, Tyler Johnson for the Buccaneers. And a Kyler Murray, Donruss 91 insert.
I like these Power Formula cards. I think they're kind of kind of cool looking. Almost like the Matrix or something in the background. I thought the Giants were going to pull it off tonight. When I checked the score, it was like 17 all. There was five minutes left, which is plenty of time for anybody. But it was 17 all, and I think the Giants had the ball as like first and 10 at their 30 or something like that. But it didn't end up that way. I have to go watch the highlights later and see what happened. All right, box number two. I don't know if I've pulled any autos out of the hanger boxes yet. It's been probably close to a month since I opened any hangers. I can't remember if we were pulling autos very frequently or not. You can definitely have a chance to get some. I'm sure the odds... And he doesn't tell you any odds, but I'm sure the odds are pretty tough to snag them. Best pull out of Donra so far was that uh, Trey Lance is out of a mega box. Trey Lance, red hot rookies out of 25 was a sticker auto. thought that was pretty sweet. And we've gotten quite a few other quarterback autos. I don't think there's been one as big as Trey Lance, though. I know Absolute Football just came out, so the, the Kaboom Chase is on. There's a Justin Jefferson. I don't, I can't recall if he has a card with a helmet on or not. I'm assuming he probably does because most of the guys that have one off have one on. Well, Brett Favre has kind of a young picture of him. Alejandro Villanueva. There's a Josh Allen with his mask on. All right, for the Raider rookies, Pete Werner, Trey Sermon, uh, Jalen Phillips, and Javian Hawkins. Got red press proofs of Kirk Cousins. Uh, there's A.J. Brown. Emmett Smith. And I was upside down. Tyson Campbell. For the Jaguars, our red press proof rookie. Got a Kadarius Tony Gridiron Kings rookie. Nick Chubb Dominators insert. Got a Kyle Trask, the rookies insert. I kind of like these better than the base rookies, but. Got another Dominators. This is Josh Allen for the Bills. Uh, Trey Lance Elite Series rookies. Got a Troy Aikman Legend Series, uh, Dalvin Cook Elite Series, DeAndre Hopkins with that catch last last year, I think it was, and a Retro Series, Troy Aikman, and Red Hot Rookies, Travis Etienne. Now, you probably don't believe me, but a buddy sent me the stat line of uh, Jay Cutler, and Troy Aikman, and their stats were virtually the same. Jay Cutler actually had a little bit better stats. And it was funny. It was like when you realize that Jay Cutler was a better quarterback than uh, Troy Aikman. It, it, it kind of blew my mind. I always thought Jay Cutler was kind of lazy. But he had some uh, fairly decent stats, I guess. It was better than Troy Aikman, I guess, if you put it on paper. Of course, they played in a little bit different era, so. And Troy Aikman had Emmitt Smith to hand the ball to, which is a little bit different uh, when a coach is calling plays. I think nowadays uh, they're running the ball less, but the running back still gets the ball quite a bit from check downs and screen plays. If you convert it all, they're short pass 
stats to rushing stats, it would probably be similar to what it used to be when they just ran the ball constantly. Uh, no, I think I have one more break tonight. I'm pretty sure I have another one. Um, now I'm second guessing myself. Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes. It should be later. Auction should be later. Baseball. I don't know about you guys, but my local Walmart is f filled to the brim with uh, just all kinds of random stuff. A lot of it's the new Pokemon, but there's like Chronicles draft picks, basketball everywhere, Topps Chrome Baseball, which is still overpriced. Uh, Walmart's going to have to go back to like making clearance on some of that stuff. Yeah, Prism Baseball, WNBA is still sitting there. It's just kind of funny when you have to go into Walmart to buy something, but you could sit at home and still on Target's website for like 25% cheaper. It don't make any sense. There's tons of stuff on Walmart shelves that you can get on eBay for 10 to 15% cheaper. If I mean, if you really wanted it. A lot of people don't even want to open that stuff, but... Hey, there's Mahomes with his mask on. It'd be interesting to look back at some of these cards in 15, 20 years where these guys are wearing masks. Uh, my kids probably won't even know why. All right, we finally made it to the rookies here. I got Kylan Hill for the Packers. There's a Justin Fields rookie. So Justin Fields leading the way card count so far for the quarterbacks uh, Frank Darby and you got an Ian Book rookie got a couple QBs there uh, Chris Carson Red Press Proof T Higgins got a George Kittle Red Press Proof He's actually got the mask on kind of a nice team color match too there and our rookie is going to be Amari Rogers for the Packers we got another portrait, Marquez Stevenson. I didn't know he had a portrait card in here. It's actually still in his uh, college uniform. Got Action All Pros, Jalen Ramsey. The rookies insert of De'Ami Brown for the Washington football team. Another The Rookies, Davis Mills. I didn't know he had that insert. Uh, Vince Young, Elite Series. Got Elite Series rookies, Rondell Moore. I think he's got an updated jersey number now. There's Emmett Smith, Legend Series. Got a DK Metcalf insert. I think this is when he's chasing down old Buda Baker. Uh, Retro Series, Ozzie Newsom. I wonder if he has a son that's a rookie this year. Because there's a couple Newsom boys that just got drafted. Got an inducted John Lynch for the Broncos. And kid reporter. I have to look that up. I think Daz knew some. And maybe Greg knew some or something. But I think Greg knew some as a junior, so that probably isn't his son. It might be like a nephew or something. Because that would mean his name would have to be Greg. I love these, uh, the rookies inserts. I just like the like checkerboard borders and stuff. I think they look pretty sweet. All 
I will do a recap at the end of all the like top loaded cards. In case you get bored or you got something you gotta do or you fall asleep and you wake up tomorrow morning and don't wanna watch the whole video. We did a giveaway again this last week. I couldn't, wasn't very creative, didn't think of anything physical to give away. It was just a $100 giveaway. But somebody guessed the game score exactly on the head. Yeah, the Broncos winning, and the total score was 27 points. I don't know if that's happened before. I've had some people close. Actually, I think it happened one other time. I had somebody guess the exact score, but. Anyways, I'll do that giveaway every week during football season. Usually do something every football season. Last year's was kind of lame because it was like a cumulative giveaway. If nobody wanted it, just rolled over, and nobody ever got all the games right. So we finally got to like the last week of the season. I just had to pick the closest winner. I like doing a guaranteed giveaway every week. It's a little more easier and fun to do. But like I said, I don't know what this week's giveaway is. Um, I may do some supplies or I may do some sealed boxes again or something. Hey, there we go. We've got Zach Wilson, ready rookie. Seem to get a quarterback or two in every box. Kelvin Joseph. I got Zayvon Collins. The Cardinals. I didn't realize he was drafted as high as he was. Uh, Amir Smith Marset for the Vikings. Got that Bobby Wagner, red press proof. Chad Johnson. Joe Montana, red press proof. And our rated rookie red is Landon Dickerson for the Eagles. Got another portrait, Kylan Hill for the Packers. Our action all pros, TJ Watt. Oh, this is Zach Wilson box. The Rookies, Zach Wilson. Got a Dominator's, Justin Jefferson. Power Formulas, Michael Thomas. Oh, this is a Jets box. Ain't it Zach Wilson? Oh, this is a Jets box. There's Elite Series Rookies, Michael Carter. Got a Legend Series, Kurt Warner. Uh, inducted Peyton Manning for the Colts. There's a Tom Brady Road to the Super Bowl insert. And we have the champ is here. Lin, uh, no, Ronald Jones Jr. Sorry about said Leonard Fournette. Another kid reporter. I don't have too many singles cards. Uh, about the... Only thing I got football wise is from like 2018. I opened tons of 2018 product, like Score, Donruss, and Optic, mainly for myself. Like we, I wasn't doing breaks back then, but uh, Mike White had his little frenzy of a game the other day, so I started digging around. And today, me and Maverick found four different rookies. I had a blue Donruss press proof of Mike White. I got an Optic base. I've got two score rookies that I found. I probably got more somewhere. I honestly probably gave a bunch of them away because I 
sometimes I'll put like little single cards in people's packs. And usually it's those types of cards, like just random quarterback rookies or just random rookies or inserts or something. Um, but it's just funny, some of the prices of his cards are a little out of this world right now. I don't like that top loader very much. Like the, uh, oh, what day was that? It was probably Friday evening, I think. Friday evening, I just, just goofing around in the group. I, I did like four, I think it was like four, uh, just like little freebie cards. They're like two or three dollar cards. I just, they're free via PWE. And one of them was a, a Mike White Pink Optic Rated Rookie. It was like $2 on eBay. It was like nothing. Um, then he goes and has his game yesterday. And I shipped it on Saturday via PWE or whatever. I probably should have put it in a bubble mailer. Because I looked up that card at auction today. And it's getting up close to $50. It was literally $2 when I sent it out on um, Friday. But I thought it was kind of funny. I messaged... Uh, the person that won it and said, I'm, I'm very sorry I shipped your card PWE. I've never seen a card jump that much in value, though, percentage-wise. I've seen cards jump, you know, hundreds of dollars, bigger, more rare cards. But percentage-wise, going from two to whatever that auction I was looking at is at right now is pretty ridiculous. Derrick Henry, I wish he wouldn't have got hurt. He's fun to watch play. Some of the highlights of him just throwing grown men around crack me up. All right, we'll get the already rookies right now. Hey, nice cow pits. Uh, Khalil Herbert, ready rookie for the Bears. Dwayne Eskridge for the Seahawks. And Elijah Vera Tucker. Pick number 14 for the Jets. We pulled so many of his autos out of the spire. I've got that memorized now. Uh, Vaughn Miller, Red Press Proof. Johnny Hecker. Got an Adrian Amos. And a Red Press Proof rookie. It's upside down. Josh Palmer for the Chargers. We'll take it. Got a Gridiron Kings Ian Book rookie. Another Dominators insert for the Vikings this is Dalvin Cook this time. Minka Fitzpatrick, Action All Pros. Got a Ramondre Stevenson, the Rookies insert. Uh, Chase Claypool, Elite Series insert. Power Formulas, Jonathan Taylor. Got a, another Justin Fields card. This is uh, Elite Series Rookies. And a Justin Herbert. Highlights insert. And you got another one. Retro series. Andre Johnson. Yeah, people definitely definitely get a little wild for one game. But I I think Tom Brady's kind of set us up for situations like this. You look at a guy who got drafted in the sixth round. Has similar situation, comes in for an injured quarterback, and the next 15, 20 years is just full of crazy history. Uh, people are always willing to throw a little money at something for the hope that that might happen again, I guess. Otherwise, I don't see why you spend that much money on a Mike White rookie. Unless you just think, unless you just really love the team all of a sudden. But if you're collecting your team cards, you would have known Mike White already played for the Jets a long time ago. And you would have already grabbed a few of his rookies for 50 cents on the dollar. So it's mostly people just buying to try to trade or flip or whatever. I guess that's the halfway point. 
Uh, we got five boxes left. I think I'm going a little bit slower than I was expecting. I'm not sure what minute mark we're at, but this may be a little bit longer than 40 minutes. Feels like it. I'm trying to go fast, but I'm pretty slow. Pretty slow breaker. Actually, I had a break last night. It was me and one person in the video for a good 60 or 70% of the video. It was hilarious, too. I've never had a video with that uh, few of people watching. But it was a baseball break. It was a smaller break. Um, smaller, meaning like most of the teams were sold for like six or seven bucks at most. I think the most expensive team was like nine dollars. Um, so, which usually means that there's not a whole lot of people bidding. I think I had like seven or eight different people in that break total. So, most of the people just watch it in the morning. But I'm still ripping. It was just me and one other person in there. Try to make it as awkward as I could. <laughs> I don't think I have any breaks tomorrow, uh, but Wednesday night we're going to try our first YouTube break. I've always broke on Facebook, but um, recently ran into some issues with being able to save the videos at the end. So I'm going to try to go straight to YouTube, because uh, everybody should have access to YouTube, and the only reason I upload them to YouTube is for those people that don't have access to Facebook. So we'll keep the Facebook group going, but I'll probably do the lives on YouTube if it all works out going forward. Got a Peyton Turner rated rookie for the Saints, Marquez Stevenson, uh, Travis Etienne for the Jaguars, and Racy McMath for the Titans. For our red press proofs, we got Patrick Peterson, uh, Terry McLaurin, Larry Fitzgerald, kind of a cool team color match. You got a mask on too. We got another Chargers red press proof. Rashawn Slater. A portrait of Josh Palmer, also for the Chargers. Got a Dominators. Ah, Jared Goff for the Lions. It's a little disappointing there. Action All Pros Bobby Wagner. Uh, Javante Williams, the rookies insert. Got another Josh Palmer, uh, Elite Series rookies. Power Formulas, Derrick Henry. It's kind of a throwback here. Elite Series, Marquise, Mar Marquez Colson. I can never say his first name right. For the Saints there. I remember Drew Brees hurling the ball around to him quite a bit. Uh, we got in. Uh, MVP Tom Brady insert. I've only pulled this one like one other time. Pretty cool. Leonard Fournette, the champ, is here. And we got a Kyle Pitts red hot rookies insert. Marquis. Thank you. There was a guy who played for the Saints. I couldn't remember. I can't remember his first name. But I remember he always had a stat line. It seemed like every game. He, it would be like one catch, 70 yards, one touchdown. Or he might, be, he might have like two catches, 60, 70 yards, and a touchdown. I want to say his last name was Henderson, but I can't remember for sure. But it just seemed like every other game or every game, well, it wouldn't have been every game because he'd have broken a touchdown record. But every every few games, Drew Brees had a bomb to him. And he was fast, too. I just can't remember his first name. 
Oh, but I want to say his last name was Henderson. This is probably like early 2000s. Maybe Devery? I don't know. You need to start eating some food that helps your memory. I guess I'm getting old. Alright, we got four boxes left. Haven't pulled anything super crazy. No autos yet or numbered cards. I need to move this stack over again. It's getting very tall. I didn't realize Dak Prescott was going to be out last night. I don't have a fantasy football team or anything, but it used to stress me out a lot when stuff like that would go on. I think it was kind of a game time decision, maybe. Maybe a little bit earlier in the day, but it was kind of up in the air whether or not he was going to play. They still end up winning. Hey, there's a Herbert with no helmet there. All right, for our Ray rookies, Amari Rogers. Uh, Devontae Smith. Got a Monroe St. Brown for the Lions. Greg Newsom, the second. Red Press Proof of Kenyon Drake. Drew Brees. I got a Jalen Ramsey. It's a funny photo there. I don't know what he's doing if he's just like. Making a funny face on purpose or what? Uh, Red Press Proof Joe Tryon. Rated rookie for the Buccaneers. And then another portrait. Jamar Jefferson for the Lions. Action All Pros. David Bakhtiari. Is this the guy that chugs beers at basketball games? I've seen so many videos of some guy at the Bucks games. All the fans go crazy. They... Show him on the Jumbotron chugging beers. Kane Wangu, the rookie's insert for the Vikings. Got a Dominator's Rob Gronkowski. Uh, Alvin Kamara, Power Formulas. Another Zach Wilson. This is Elite Series rookies. A Legend Series Ray Lewis. Got a Mahomes. Road to the Super Bowl insert. A Levante David, the champ is here. And a highlights insert of Chase Young. That's true. Jamar's stuff has gotten more expensive than uh, most quarterbacks from this class. Granted, he's played better than been more valuable to his team than most quarterbacks have, but it's kind of crazy to see a receiver's card price is that expensive.
We're gonna have a massive recap. I, got, I guess I must be sleeping and top loading like probably six cards a box. So we're gonna have like probably 60 cards in the recap or so. And I will go sleeve all the other red press proofs, uh, the rookies, the inserts. I just try to be a little selective during the break so it doesn't take a crazy amount of time, but it's probably going to take a while still anyways. I got more top loaders out. Top loaders have reached uh, what I would call some of the lowest prices that I've ever seen. What's crazy is if you asked me three months ago, I just said I'm pretty nervous about how expensive top loaders are going to get. But uh, they are super cheap now. I remember when I first started breaking about a little over a year and a half ago probably, I get a case of top loaders. I want to say a case of like... Uh, I think I could get a case if I bought in bulk. I could get a case for maybe like eighty bucks or so. But they're back down like pretty close to that same price again. You do have to buy in bulk, but um, they're really affordable again. They were like two fifty a case there for a little period of time, but there's a guy I buy from a lot on eBay. Uh, it's Columbia Hobby. And you do have to buy in bulk, uh, which I do because I use so many, but uh, he's got them up on eBay right now. You can buy 10000 from him, which is 10 cases, and it's $899, I think. So if you buy with, like, a credit card, they get you points. Uh, or if you have you live in a state with no tax, I mean, that's $90 a case off eBay. So I imagine you could probably uh, get them cheaper, you know, at a local shop or something. Like I say, you do have to buy in bulk to get that price, but I'm sure uh, if that's the price for bulk, it's probably not a crazy amount higher for just a single case somewhere. Nick Chubb, Charles Woodson, Khalil Mack. I don't know why I'm saying all the names. I'm trying to not waste all you guys' time and go a little quicker. Uh, the brand that uh, he sells, though, is Cardboard Gold, which Cardboard Gold sells directly, too. They're supposed to have a big sell on... Uh, November 11th, I think, on their website. So, it's almost like top loaders have come full circle and now they've got an oversupply or something because they're constantly lowering the price. I purchased uh, 10 cases about a month ago and I paid about 110 a case. So, to see them already now at 90 bucks, less than 30 days later, uh, kind of blows my mind. Makes me a little nervous. Am I, if I buy too many too soon or I need to wait even longer to see if they go down some more. Tom Brady. No helmet. Oh, Rolling, we haven't pulled anything super crazy. We pulled quite a few different uh, quarterback cards. I don't think we pulled any Trevor Lawrence yet tonight or Mac Jones, honestly, though. So we need to work on those guys. If we got a Mac Jones, maybe an insert or something, but I don't think we've pulled any. Jacob Harris, Tyson Campbell, Landon Dickerson, and a Jalen Waddle rated rookie. So we got some work to do, I would say. There's a red press proof of Jalen Hurts. Second year card. Uh, Michael Vick, red press proof. We got a Brett Favre, red press proof, and Hunter Long, red press proof, rated rookie for the Dolphins. Chuba Hubbard portrait. Now we're getting a lot of portraits, and I don't remember getting that many. Uh, Dominators, TJ Watt. A nice insert there for the Steelers. Got a Pat Fryer. Dang, I thought that was Najee Harris. I was hoping we get some Najee tonight. Another Dominators insert of Nick Bosa this time. Yeah, I know. I figured we'd touch about all the quarterbacks. November 11th. Let me think here. A 
Got Brian Urlacher, Legend Series. Got Elite Series, Josh Jacobs. Uh, another Jalen Wallace, Elite Series, Rookies, Insert. Uh, Peyton Manning, Inducted. Got a Retro Series, Warren Moon. And a Devin White, the Champ is Here, Insert. I'm not sure uh, for the no November 11th date. Uh, usually when Cardboard Gold sells their... They do their big sales like that. Um, they're supposed to have the container already within the states. Now, if it's at the facility, I don't know if they guarantee that, but usually they guarantee that they can ship it fairly quickly. Um, and Carbol Golds, I think they're out of Washington, maybe. So, um, but I don't know. They they make some really good top loaders. I actually prefer them over uh, Ultra Pro. Because when I take them out of the case, there's not three and four and five top loaders stuck together that I have to bust apart. Uh, occasionally, you might get two that are kind of paired together, but this is exactly what the photo looks like on eBay. Uh, just a picture of one of these little packs. But I really like Carbo Gold. I think I have a friend who uses uh, Pro Safe top loaders. I think he said that they work pretty well for him. Um, I've always just stuck with Carbo Gold. And then when Cardboard Gold got too expensive, I was able to get some Ultra Pros for a little bit cheaper. Those are two pretty good brands, though. But yeah, I was uh, just, I guess the whole moral of the story for me was how confused I was when I saw that price for $90 a case. Which we have like 8 or 9% uh, tax rate in Arkansas, so that's actually closer to 100 bucks a case, but... If you have some sort of credit card where you get some credit or points back, then you can save a little bit that way. I was a little bit frustrated. I uh, I ordered I ordered like five or six hundred dollars worth of what do you call them? Uh, bubble mailers, metallic bubble mailers, and literally the next day. Uh, eBay eBay sent me an email and said, we want to give you a chance to earn 5% eBay bucks. So I said, well, I don't need to buy anything now. I guess it was just that time of the year where they do that. Dang. That is high. There's some uh, places that have no tax, because I know whenever I go to invoice everyone, I see like I see the totals at the end, and it'd be like zero tax. I don't remember what all the states are, but um, I want to move there. It'd be a nice place to save yourself a dollar for every ten dollars. Oh, Matthew Stafford. Continues to have a good season. Oregon, no sales tax. They need that, though. They need something to make up for all that rain they had to deal with. You guys up there in the Pacific Northwest... If it rains as much as I've heard it does, I don't understand how you do it. I'd be in a deep, dark hole. There's uh, Aaron Rodgers. Terry Bradshaw and CMC. All right, here we go. we got some rated rookies. Greg Rousseau for the Bills. Tommy Trimble. Uh, looks like Jeremiah Wasu Koromoa for the Browns. And Des Fitzpatrick for the Titans. Got Red Press Proofs, we got Josh Allen. Brandon Cooks for the Texans. Ooh, this is a cool one. Probably not expensive or anything, but nice throwback there. Red Press Proof, Tom Brady for the Patriots. And Carlos Boogie Basham Jr. for the Bills. I love how they put his nickname on there. Or maybe that's his middle name, I don't know. 
I uh, got an Elijah Moore portrait. I'm very pleased that we've gotten a portrait in almost every hanger. Action All Pros, Travis Kelsey. Got another Ian Book. Uh, this is the rookies insert. Dominators, J.J. Watt. Got him in the new uniform there. New team, I should say. There's our first Kellen Mond. This Elite Series rookies. Got a Legend Series, Brett Favre. Elite Series, Rob Gronkowski. A Josh Allen highlights insert. We haven't got a numbered card yet. I feel like we got a numbered card in one of the last hanger breaks we did. Retro series Michael Vick or Michael Ick, excuse me. And another Kyler Murray Donruss ninety one insert. Yes, it's a different world. The further north you go. Same thing going south, I guess. Gets hotter down that direction. Alright, we got one hanger box left. I love the hangers because it seems like you get a lot of inserts and a lot of chances to get different rookies. But, that being said, we've gotten uh, no Mac Jones and I don't believe any Trevor Lawrence. So... We have gotten, I feel like, four or five Zach Wilsons and three or four uh, Justin Fields. But some of those other guys we just kind of left out. I do like this card, though. Tom Brady parallels from any year. seems like they have some value to him. He's like the Mike Trout of... Football. Then you got the LeBron James for basketball. It's that way. Alrighty. Well, let's get after it. Like I said, I think this video ran quite a bit longer than I was expecting. So I apologize. Try to be as quick as I can. But I do want to show all the cards in case... I know a lot of people like to complete the complete the base set, so I just want you to know what's coming whenever I ship everything. That Von Miller deal was a surprise today. I didn't expect that to happen. I guess the somebody said the who was it? The Broncos get second and third round pick or something like that. And somebody has to eat all of his contract. I can't remember. I guess the Rams maybe, I don't know. There's a Josh Jacobs with the mask on. Another Mahomes with the mask. Alrighty, for our ready rookies, we've got Patrick Sertan. There's a Chuba Hubbard. Greg Rousseau. And Tommy Tremble. Got a few Panthers rookie cards the last couple hangers. Uh, Tim Patrick, Red Press Proof. Jerome Baker. Got a DeAndre Swift, Red Press Proof. And for a rookie, it's upside down. There we go. That's a good way to finish. That's the best Red Press Proof by far that we've got in the night. Nice Jamar Chase. Got a Kenneth Gainwell portrait. Played over there in Memphis. Kyle Pitts, the rookies insert. Got an Allen Robinson, Dominators. There we go. We got a Mac Jones finally. The old double zero. Uh, the rookies insert there. TJ Hawkinson. Uh, Kyle Trask, Elite Series rookies. Oh, what's that saying? Cash Money, Homie, or something like that. Randy Moss. I love Randy Moss. The old country boy. 
I wrote the Super Bowl, Lamar Jackson. What is that saying he does? He says, there's a Tom Brady, the champ is here, insert. And we got highlights of Amari Cooper and another kid reporter. Oh, DK Metcalf mossed somebody this weekend. I don't remember who was guarding him, but he made him look like a child. Straight cash, homie. That's what it is. I'm pretty sure that was Randy Moss said that. I don't know. He was fun to watch. All right, we're going to do a little recap here. Uh, a little different than normal. I'm not going to talk through all this one. We probably got uh, probably 70 cards top loaded or so. So what I'm going to do is flip through all of them. Let you get a good look at all the cards. And that'll be it. I can flip a little bit faster than I can talk. So burn up a lot of, a lot of you guys' time this evening. Yeah, no worries, Cal. Thanks for jumping in. I love those, uh, the rookies inserts. I think those have always looked really cool year over year. I don't know about that insert. That's interesting. Honestly, value-wise, that was probably the most valuable card from the break. That red press proof, uh, Jamar Chase. Last has the most value. Wish we could have pulled in the auto tonight. Or even a numbered card. I'm kind of surprised we didn't pull one or the other. The cool card, red press proof, Brady for the Patriots. At least we got a Mac Jones there towards the end too. Last hanger box, save this a little bit. Still got some more. There's a Mahomes. Fields portrait. Forgot we got a Devontae Smith red press proof as well. We did get a Trey Lance. He was the one that we didn't get very many of. I think that was the only one. There is Tony there. Davis Mills. He popped out one time. I don't know. I think he has a regular rookie too, though. We just didn't get one. Kenny Nwangu. I appreciate you guys jumping in the break. Um, kind of a weird break. I've never done... I don't usually do breaks with 500 cards. It just takes a long time. I try to keep the videos fairly short because it can get kind of monotonous with a lot of base cards. But I appreciate you guys sticking with me. If you need anything, just shoot me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. If you bid on that last break tonight, just message me so I can knock your shipping off as well. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to hop off here and start sorting some cards. Uh, you guys take